Okay, guys, are you ready? In the beginning, Hebrew, something, bear, bear shit. Okay, that's what they say, bear shit. But this is um, this is a serious presentation, and I will try to explain my view of the first word of the Bible. I have received some inspiration supernaturally, you know. Do you want to hear my conclusion from this? Stay, stay with me. My explanation has to do with metamorphosis and I will explain why the symbolic meaning of in the beginning the word Bershit, Bershit or something like that why it symbolically relates to a metamorphosis this is an important presentation I hope you stay with me and don't give up in the middle or something like that stay with me you will enjoy this if you like this kind of stuff so first of all boom okay boom um, this first word means uh, it has Yamantra Yamatria 911 okay 911 911 is is the yamatra for 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 this word and this is really important actually you will see how this ties together i will of, of course this has a meaning you just know it directly this is this is important well it is 911 you know it's it's in our reality why why you know 911 that's destruction right and yeah, and that's why I am talking about metamorphosis, because metamorphosis is both a destruction and a creation. It is both the beginning and the end. And what is both the beginning and the end? Well, that's also Christ, right? According to, to the biblical story, Christ is the beginning and the end. Um, and uh, I have said that yeah, let, let, let's not uh, go off sub subject here too much. 9-11, uh, in the beginning, right? Metamorphosis, um, uh, that, that's my argument for this video. 9-1-1, right? Let's move it up there, make some room, making some room. In the beginning, it, it means supposedly, but there are many sources saying that it actually means in a beginning which is also good because in a beginning means that there are many many beginnings there are many metamorphoses you know so let's use that instead in a beginning and let's let's talk about this why do i have this symbol on the screen well, to me, this symbol represents metamorphosis. Okay, where does this symbol come from? Well, it comes from. It come. It, it is old. It comes from art. You know. Oh, I. I'm improvising a bit. You see. Um, this image here. You can see. This is art and it has to do with symbology, it has to do with Freemasonry. Don't go all critical now when I say Freemasonry, because there is truth in all of this. Don't, don't you dare to just turn off your critical mind now and go, oh, that's evil. No, don't do that. I'm telling you, stop it. Stop it, okay? This is where the symbol comes from and it has to do with something important, some, some symbology that you must understand to get this, right? This is metamorphosis, this is in the begin in the beginning, I'll show you, okay? So, first of all, I have talked about this before, we have Samson. Samson is literally the son 
it means sun. The sun goes between the pillars and it breaks the temple of, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, I, for, I forgot the, the, the story right now, but I know what it's about. Um, Pilistines or something. Um, so we have the sun symbol, you know. The symbol in the middle of the screen is the sun symbol and there are two lines bet between, right? It's the two temples. But when it comes to Samson and his destruction of the temple, he was so strong because he was empowered by the sun, you know. He had the sun inside. When you have God inside, you destroy the temple, okay? So the 9-11... It's not bad. It is a destruction of the material so that you can have a beginning inside. Oh, that sounds good. We have the same here. Oh, I want to thank you, Matt. You're so kind. You showed me this. I don't know if you're kind anymore, but still you're teaching me. You're teaching me, Matt. And I actually had a lot of things that... Um, I was I had a bit of anger today and I was thinking like I don't want to do any video but then I just deleted all the anger uh, I just deleted all those images that I wanted to show fuck that fuck that and I just go directly to the point um, 9 11 is the destruction of Solomon's temple it has to do the 11th day the ninth month the destruction of Solomon's temple. You see, you see the 911. You, you can just see it there, right? It's there. Okay. And on the other side of this, you have Samson being the sun that goes inside, the god that goes inside. Uh, 911, fall of Solomon's temp two temples. Uh, great, I, I say great. Um, uh, Solomon, take your take your temples, throw them away. Who cares? The temple is within, uh, so so you can forget about those temples. Um, Samson is there in the middle. His passion, his he has the sun inside. The temple is destroyed, and there's a lot of talk about this in the Bible about. God destroying temples because the, the the cement is impure. You know, you you did build the temple with the wrong cement, which is uh, metaphorical of you not having your pineal gland uh, clean. You don't have your inner eye clean with with a cement that is cemented. Instead, you have it wrong in some way. You built it with tar. It is black. It's it's black. Your inner eye or something. I mean, whatever. Okay, guys, you you have to have use some imagination here. So the inner eye is uh, is uh, Jesus Christ. It it's just one one name of it, right? Horus is the same. Horus, the eye sees. What do we see with the eye? We see. Light. What is light? Light is the sun. Sun goes within, as I'm saying. As I'm saying, that's why we have Samson. That's why Jesus uh, is born in Nazareth because Nazar means I. We have. Yeah, there is so much. There is no end to this. Actually, I. I. There. There is so much. Okay, and um, I'm keeping. I'm keeping. I'm keeping so much to myself. I'm showing you here more than anyone else would but still i'm keeping a lot to myself it's just i'm just i'm just so so damn egoistic about this but i'm still telling you some stuff yeah you have some 9 9 11 here ixxi jesuit ring oh jesuit is is the society of jesus oh there is some xx there in the middle interesting i'm just i, I don't know how important this is so just put it there let's let's um Let's not continue on that trail. Um, so, it's all about this symbol. 
in the beginning is about the this I'll, I'll show you some more why okay the metamorphosis is is this symbol and um, you can see when it comes to truth it is true from every perspective you cannot look from a perspective where it's false okay it's ha it has to be true in all freaking perspectives and it is um, so to change into a different physical form by supernatural means is one meaning to change uh, strikingly uh, the appearance or character of something to cause you see the the, the last meaning to, to cause a rock to undergo metamorphism oh we have a rock we have a rock where have you heard this oh it's the living stone well, I don't know what's wrong with people. Why, why, why don't you say this for yourself? I don't know. Metamorphism. You have the freaking stone there. It it undergoes metamorphism. Just um, we're going to talk more about that in a while. We'll see some other meanings here. Here, metamorphosis is also the insect, right? We're trying to to grow wings, maybe you know. We're trying to evolve. This is what life is about. I'll talk about that also, right? Life is about transformation. The begin, the first word of the Bible is, uh, in my opinion, a way to. Uh, yeah, it's about that. There's a reason for for all of this. Then you have this, right? It, it's the Greek. The Greek version of all the gods, uh, the story of the gods, uh, the story is called, yeah, what is the story called? The entire story is called Metamorphoses, you see, Ovid's Metamorphoses, I've, I've talked about this before, it's all about transformation, it's all about this symbol at the top, this symbol is the 9-11, you know, the fall of the Twin Towers, you have the sun, you have the, um, uh, what, 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 what freaking, what freaking way, what am I thinking about now? Uh, let me see. Uh, you know, you know, why do I have to add it every time? Um, you know, the orange juice going in the middle there, why do you think it's there? Uh, let's just put it like that, right? Oh, it's so big. Oh no. The presentation. The Super Tramp 911 orange juice. Why do you think the orange juice is there? Well, it's because it's the sun. The sun goes within. And you have the metamorphosis. You have this symbol up there. It's the metamorphosis. It's the first, it's a symbolic meaning of the first word of the Bible. The fall of the temples. Um, furthermore, everything is true from every direction. Metamorphosis is from Latin and means transformation. Oh, the sun creates life by being a source of low entropy. And that, and now we know that entropy originates in the word transformation. So entropy itself doesn't doesn't originate in disorder because in when it comes to physics um, most seem to believe that entropy means disorder that something goes to disorder rising entropy of uh, a system you know thermodynamics ther yeah but entropy is about transformation because the sun gives life so that we transform so that we can have a beginning so that yeah it's all about this right again let's get back to the hydrothermal to the metamorphism when it comes to stones 
and you know you have a little living stone they wrote a bit about it in the bible maybe you heard or maybe you heard about the cornerstone what what did you do in bible school what did you do um well well hydrothermal metamorphism throw throw this rock into the water lapis lapis in latin means stone the lapis is also the name of uh, of uh, lapis lazuli is the supposed name of lucifer's stone you know the lucifer he lost his stone when he fell from heaven oh it's the blue stone it fell down it is actually it fell down and um, uh, yeah some say it's a green stone some say it's a green stone but when you read about it it will uh, they will say most will say that lucifer stone was a lapis lazuli okay are you with me so what is a lapis, lapis lazuli well it's a hydrothermal metamorphism of limestone something happened right uh, inner eye inner eye is blue uh, outer thing sun is the red oh what happens maybe maybe you know you you throw down that that uh, limestone in the water uh, because uh, we are the water and uh, god is the light so we are the lapis lazuli something like that you know um, from another perspective when it comes to the philosopher's stone uh, you have um, also a, ha, um, like the, the final stage of the philosopher's stone is uh, red aragonite which is also a hydrothermal metamorphism where the limestone didn't pollute it it wasn't polluted by being thrown down in the water in the watery abyss you throw it down and uh, it, it, it is still main, maintained its form of pure limestone and it becomes red and it becomes the it is the blood coral of the christ right the blood coral which is in all the artwork oh oh how how is that well it's just perfect it's just how it is everything is perfect uh, so this video was actually about i'll just do this very quickly so that we are all on the same track the first word of the Bible, bear shit. Sorry if I mispronounce. Um, and my argument was that it means metamorphosis. It's I'll, I think I'll take it again because it, it, it's it's uh, easier I think. No, and we have the 9/11. It's it's in in Hebrew Yamantra. Um, then we have this symbol, right? I'm telling you that this is a symbol of both 9-11, the, the destruction of 9-11 on, on 2001. It's a symbol of that. It's a beginning of something. And uh, yeah. And it, it's, it's clearly visible here when it comes to the fall of Solomon's temple on the 9-11. The two temples fell, right? And the same, you have the sun. You have Samson tearing down the, the, the temple. Represented by the two pillars, you know? And what is it, what is it also? Let, let's talk a bit more here, right? <clears throat> this is this is also the the uh, the ladder to heaven, right? You have the the two pillars of Freemasonry. Don't freaking hate 
hate stuff. Don't hate stuff. I, I know some people just hate. Oh, Freemasonry. Oh, it's so evil. Everything is so 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 bad. Oh, people are so bad. Like you 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 just want to paint something into the devil. You know. Don't do that. It it's it's just dumb. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, because who wanted to carry all the sin? It was Christ, in some sense. I mean, the, there's a reason why it is like this. You shouldn't paint anything as uh, the devil. You see the evil. Well, the evil, in some sense, the evil eye, right? The evil eye. The evil eye... You know, and what, you know, if if I am to be honest with you, what is what is um, what is uh, the word savior, for example? To me, the word savior. Well, well, I'm not going to explain it because it's my secret. It's my my stuff okay to, to me to me it means it, it doesn't mean uh, fuck that okay Let, let's not talk about this stuff okay I, I don't want to talk about it um, but uh, I looked into the words a lot and um, there is a consistency in, in this also that I like um, but this is this is actually really important with the metamorphosis, and you could you could also see it in the Greek mythology. It's there. All these um, all the religions are trying to teach us something together, right? You can just look at many of them, and they um, they convey something together. I actually don't think that religions are opposing each other I don't like that they are fighting because together it becomes beautiful all these religions and uh, I don't like it when when uh, all of these religions fight about the right way of seeing it because all of them are right together in some sense yeah um. I don't know, maybe it's time to end this video. Yeah, let's talk a bit more about that. Um, uh, Jacob's dream, right? You fall asleep on the stone. And, and you have the ladder to heaven. He fell asleep on a limestone, actually. And then he had the pillars and... What happens is that the sun, the, the light goes within and the temples falls, right? That this is this is what it's all, all about and, and it's just, it's, it's a beginning, right? And also a destruction of the physical, right? I think it's so cool. I don't know. I know. It, 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 I mean, this, this should at least resonate with some of you guys. Um, I really liked how, how it was 9-11 in, in, uh, in both um, Solomon's temple but also the word in the beginning and when it comes to creation and the sun the sun uh, creates thanks to its difference in, in entropy and entropy means transformation uh, just like metamorphosis means transformation in Latin I mean it's just so beautiful guys don't you see it just, just so perfect and the fall of the temple the physical temple that's the, the, that, that's the, that's the key right it's the key um, yeah, it's great. At least, at least to me, at least to me, this makes sense. Okay, that that's how I see it. It makes sense to me. 
and uh, you can say your opinion if you think it, it, it's a it's a bad uh, if you don't think it's a good um, good explanation of the word uh, in the beginning you can you can tell me and you can um, explain a bit maybe why you think it's weak or whatever I think it's just spot on okay I think this is what it's about and you can see that in how they talk so much about stones in the Bible living stone cornerstone and they talk about improper temples being built uh, yeah and and the destruction of temple uh, temples Jesus something about destroying temples right I think Jesus wants to de destroy temples there's actually a, a passage in in the gospel of Thomas I believe which is uh, it's not uh, uh, an approved gospel by the church it is a, a secret gnostic uh, uh, chapter or, or gospel where Jesus says that the two must become one okay so this is this is the two becoming one that is the light going into the inside with into the inner eye and the temple falls the 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 physical the physical falls maybe that could be seen as let's say uh, god goes within and you uh, and the world the world outside that you knew before it disappears you know the physical that you saw before it's gone maybe we don't even notice it when it happens maybe there, there is a constant metamorphosis like constant cycles of metamorphosis going around and round again beginning again beginning again constantly and uh, it's it's important this guys it's really important And, and, and I think also about uh, homunculus. Homunculus is... <sighs> I can see these parallels in alchemy. The parallels in alchemy where people try to create the philosopher's stone and they create... Uh, and it becomes a riddle instead. Like when they try to create homunculus. But homunculus is also... A term for a psych psychological um, fractal of of um, people inside your mind. Like inside your mind, there is a mind, and inside that mind, there is another mind, and you have this this uh, these layers of uh, um, uh, of uh, Plato's caves, you know. One Plato's cave inside another Plato's cave inside another Plato's cave inside another Plato's cave. And every time you learn to metamorphize, you metamorphize, you see the light, you turn around, you, you lose your chains and you see the light, it goes within and you, you, the, it becomes metamorphosis, you become a butterfly, suddenly you can fly in on a third axis. Normally, maybe you are uh, craw crawling like an ant, you know, and then you become a flying ant, and suddenly you have, you have three dimensions. Before you had only two, so you can see from above, you know, that's a big deal. And that's probably also why it's so many riddles, because because regular communication from higher uh, like higher dimensions is not possible to be clear. It cannot be clear. It has to be in a riddle, because 
it's almost like it becomes encrypted when going from higher dimension to lower dimension, right? So we solve the riddles out of curiosity and we metamorphize, we, we learn, we transform and um, it becomes a beginning in the beginning, right? And so, yeah, something like that, guys. Okay, let's end it here. See you another time. Bye-bye.